to service the bike a little bit. One of the things was is that on the uh, 1800 uh, Gold Wings, uh, they had a recall on the brake master cylinder. It was not allowing the the uh, brakes to release like they're supposed to. So under warranty, they replaced the master cylinder, and they had to flush out the whole brake line system completely, and uh, to get any contaminants out of the brake line system. So I, I took it to the to the Honda dealership and. Uh, they did that, and that was all under the recall warranty, which was free. And that's something you really need to do if you haven't done it. I don't like going to dealerships, to be honest with you, because it's, they're expensive. But anyway, when I do go, I want to make sure they do everything that needs to be done at that one time. So I was looking at my tires, and I thought, well, tires, really, they, they need to be changed. I hate to get in a torrential rainstorm with them. So decided to have the tires changed too so what I did was I had uh, the uh, front and rear tire changed to the uh, Elite 4 Dunlop tires and uh, that's supposed to be one of the best tires you can buy and I told them when they changed the tires to check the front and uh, rear rotors make sure that they're in great shape if you have to replace them replace them and I told them check the brake pads on the front and the rear and make sure that they're in great shape if you got to replace them replace them and because uh, I want to make sure the tires and the brakes and rotors and all that's in great shape also replace the uh, oil filter while it's in the shop now, normally you can do that yourself but since it's already there uh, go ahead and do that the other thing I had done was uh, the air filter. The air filter is um, something no one likes to deal with. Uh, it has, has a gold wing, I don't think. The air filter is located underneath all of this. you got to pull all this stuff off to get to the air filter. And when you take your bike to the shop, it costs, depending on where you go, I suppose $160 to two hundred and fifty dollars to replace the air filter on your 1800 gold wing now if you're mechanically inclined you can do it yourself but it's a lot of work and so anyway I had the air filter replaced the air filter is about forty four dollars and so you've got like hour and a half labor to uh, take all this stuff off and put it back on so anyway uh, one thing I'll mention about the air filter, I think Honda says change it out every three or 4,000 miles. Nobody's going to do that because it costs too much to change it out all the time. Uh, some people pro might do that, and especially those mechanically inclined will maybe do that. But one thing I would uh, say to you that even though you, you, you want to wait 20,000 miles, or some people want to wait 30,000 miles to change the air filter. You may, do, may need to do it a lot sooner than that. I'll tell you why, because when I wasn't 100% sure I needed the air filter changed, but uh, I had it changed. It was a good thing I did, because mice had gotten up into uh, the air filter and was making a nest. Now, I think they had done this in the past, several months ago and uh, and anyway after driving the bike you know they leave it alone for a while so my fuel economy i went from about 39 miles per gallon to about 35 miles per gallon and i couldn't figure that out and i think it was because the the uh mice had this nest there on the uh where they're making a nest on the air filter and uh, they just crawl up from the front of the motorcycle and climb through these two ducks the so enclosed system has got two ram air ducts that bring air to the air filter. So they were making a real mess. And I'll show you a picture of a filter that has that problem. It's not my filter, but it's uh, one I found on the Internet. So that happens. Sometimes mice can get up in there, and uh, you just don't know. And I didn't know. I, I certainly would have changed that a lot sooner if I had known. But you can't see the filter till you pull all that stuff off. So that's just a... Uh, a warning you know any question about it, you might want to have that air filter changed out and uh, 
a couple of other things and I'll show you the, the paperwork on this too. Now this is an air filter off of a 1800 gold wing. Now this is a mouse nest. The mice have gotten in there and they've made a nest in the air filter. This is not my air filter, but mine did have where the mice got in and started making a nest on it too. So that Im impedes your airflow, right, to your engine. This is something that does happen. If you have mice, they can get through anything. Okay, guys, this is where I went. This is Honda Street and Trail, close to Augusta, Georgia, Evans, right beside it. And uh, looking at the invoice here, uh, we see that uh, we had the rear brake recall by Honda, and uh, they had the master cylinder set, uh, second, and uh, fluid, uh, brake fluid. Uh, they use like six pints. They get, once they put the master cylinder on, they have to flush out the whole brake system completely because it has certain trash in it and whatnot that causes problems. So that's under warranty. All this is under warranty. Master cylinder, brake fluid to flush out. We have a, me a mechanic who did that. There's no charge for that. And uh, here we have uh, the right uh, R&R, both tires, Elite 4. Uh, these are some of the best tires you can buy, and the price shows it too. Uh, and check all the brake pads and rotors, change oil and filter, change air filter, things I wanted done. And uh, looking at the Elite 4 tire here, now this uh, front tire ended up being $198. I was going to say $200 for a front tire. That sounds like a lot. The rear tire was like $243. As you can see now, they came down on the price about $150 for the two tires altogether. But still, uh, that's that's $450, and it's probably $100 for the labor to change them out. So I got about $550 in the tire and the labor and the balance to tire. Okay, and then our air filter that we replaced is like $42, $43. And the uh, oil filter is uh, 10 bucks. Now, um, in replacing the air filter, they charge $125 labor. And uh, that would be replace the air filter, $127. Add that uh, $43 to that and you got like $170 close to that and that's for the air filter so nobody's going to change those things out every 3,000 miles and uh, end up being $811 well that sounds like a lot but I mean you're changing out tires and you, you want to put the best tire you can put on a gold wing your life is riding on those tires and again, you want to make sure your brakes are good and your brake pads and rotors and all of that. And again, they replaced the master cylinder. So uh, the bike is ready to go. We thought about the spark plugs. Uh, they were changed out 30,000 miles ago, and uh, the engine's running fine. So I might change that out later. But that's kind of what you're looking at when you uh, service the bike uh, like this. Again, I don't like going to dealerships much, but I have to say, you know, they did a really good job. I know some of these mechanics uh, in uh, Honda Street and Trail, they had to bike out in seven days, which a lot of times some of these places keep your bike for two months, three months before they can get to it. But they did a really good job. When you replace your uh, tires, this is something you might want to consider. I think these things are worth their weight. Uh, tire guard and uh, the tire guard here what it does is uh, instead of getting on your knees every time you get on your motorcycle to check the air pressure you put one of these little devices on here and it comes with a clamp and all that's made for your gold wing uh, you can get that and um, it's got like four batteries in it and uh, you take off your valve stem cap off your 
tire, the valve stem cap. You take that valve stem cap off and you put this little electronic cap on it. So each tire has an electronic cap that you screw on and it works like a Bluetooth system. So when you get ready to get on your motorcycle, you just press your button here and you have the tire pressure of your front tire and your rear tire. And uh, that's really nice. If you press the button again, this is the temperature of the front tire and the rear tire. Also, uh, you have a light over here. And this light right here will uh, come on at night so you can see what's going on. Another thing, too, is that uh, you can uh, change your... Um, your mode on this tire guard to uh, set it up uh, as far as like if I if I wanted this uh, unit to go off it has a, a bright LED light right here that flashes strobe you can't miss it but anyway if uh, I want this tire guard to go off at uh, 37 psi if the pressure gets down to 37 uh, this light will come on and strobe on either one of the tires however I set it and uh, if the tire pressure were to go up I can set it to go off on that too and you can also do that with the temperature of the tire temperature gets too hot or you think this certain temperature is too hot then uh, you can have it go off too so this is really a, a neat device to me is the uh, tire guard it runs about 250 bucks for this unit and Again, if you look at the back of it, you see there's no wires to it or anything like that. Bolts on like that. It's a pretty easy system uh, to put on very quick. And uh, so, you know, you want your tires to last a long time. And this is a great device to have because that's one of the things that kill tires more than anything is that uh, you let the air pressure get too low in them. And this, you can be going, and another thing I really like about this when you ride different places, different highways, and roads, sometimes the road is, is kind of rough or the way they did the road is, is uh, affects your tire a little bit. Sometimes you feel like your front tire or one of your tires is getting slack in air that you might have run, might have run over a nail or something. And uh, I keep this turned off all the time and uh, unless I feel something, I check it. When I get on a motorcycle, every time I get on a motorcycle, I check the tire pressure. But I'm, And I cut it off, just save the battery. And then uh, if I find that the, the road uh, makes the tires feel funny or, or I'm not sure if the tire's going bad, uh, you know, has a hole in it or whatever, I can just cut this on real quick and see what my tire pressure is. In the time past, I used to have to just pull off side of the road, you know, and check the air pressure and make sure the tire pressure was good. And that just told me that it was the road that was doing that, making the tire feel funny. So that saves you some time and effort there, too. So this is a great device to get in tire garden. Uh, again, it's about 250 bucks. a little expensive, but you can, it'll add life to your tires. Uh, you see that flashing light right there? Low pressure, 32.5. And uh, so you see that's uh, pretty good right there as far as telling you what's going on okay one other thing with new tires they balance the tires so they they're balanced they ride smooth and you get better economy and all that but also here's something that's really nice I, I like this disc right here it's called a centromatic disc and it's flat except for this part of the end of it here it's got like ball bearings or something inside of it. And anyways, the, as the tire rolls around and around, this thing will keep the tire balanced all the time. You got a disc on this side and on the other side of the bike, you got the same disc. So they keep the tire balanced. Now when your tire begins to wear, it's going to, go, it's going to become out of balance, right? So what this does, it keeps it balanced no matter what, even though the tire wears. Even if it wears uneven, it'll keep it pretty much balanced. 
on the rear tire it's got just one of these centromatic discs on it and uh, that keeps the tire balance on the rear semi truck drivers have been using these centromatic things on uh, semis for decades so they actually really work they run about two hundred and sixty dollars and you get a set of three uh, discs uh, two for the front tire one for the rear tire and so you want to get the most out of your tire right so in doing that uh, that's one of the great things about having uh, the centromatic wheel balancing system your bike responds to me a little bit better it rides better turns better and your tires are always balanced so that's a great tool to have as the centromatic uh, tire balancing system there with the tire guard which lets you keep up the air pressure of your tire and so forth so these are some things i think that are very helpful now, i hope this helps you guys uh when you get ready to service your motorcycle, some things you might want to think about doing. Thought about replacing spark plugs, but they were replaced 30,000 miles ago. Sometimes they last 60, 80,000 miles, but they're pretty easy to replace. I may replace them anyway. Make sure the gap is good on them. Okay, guys, just a little update and check out for you on uh, in servicing or servicing your motorcycle uh, that way you you're not afraid to go anywhere take care and have a, a great day Gary J